Greetings and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have Moto G35 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features of the smartphone. So if you're planning to purchase this phone or you have already bought this then this video can be really helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. If you use your phone at night a lot and even at minimum brightness it hurts your eyes then the next feature is for you. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on accessibility. There you will see the option of extra dim. Click on this so it will dim the screen beyond your phone's minimum brightness. So you can use this one feature to protect your eyes. By default this phone doesn't show your battery percentage in your status bar as you can see on the top. But if you want to enable this then simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. There you will see the option of battery percentage, simply enable this then it will start showing your battery percentage in your status bar. If you will try to click a screenshot by using three finger gestures then you won't be able to do that. But there is a separate gesture for that. If you want to enable this then simply open your settings and then click on gestures. There you will see the option of three finger screenshot, click on this and then enable this. Now whenever you want to click a screenshot you have to use your three fingers and then tap on the display like this then it will click a screenshot. So instead of scrolling down you have to tap and hold on the display to click a screenshot by using three fingers in this smartphone. You can use two applications at the same time in a single screen in this smartphone. To do that simply open the first application and then put it in recent. Now open the second application and then click on this recent button. Click on apps icon and then click on split top. Now select the second application. As you can see you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. Right now if your screen is locked and if someone will message you then it will show that message on the locked screen. But if you want to disable this then open your settings, scroll down and then click on security and privacy. Again scroll down and then click on more security and privacy. There on the top you will see the option of notifications on lock screen. Click on this, by default it is selected to show all notification on the lock screen. You have to select don't show notification at all. So now if someone will message you, it will not show any messages on your locked screen. There is another feature for your convenience called sidebar. If you enable this then you will be able to open your favorite application very quickly. To enable this simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures, click on sidebar and then enable this. Now it will start showing a transparent bar on the right side of the screen as you can see here. Now if you want to open this then simply swipe to the left from this sidebar. You can also edit this, click on setting, you can add a favorite application here and also remove unnecessary application from here. After this come back. Now whenever you are using your phone normally simply open your sidebar and you can easily open your favorite application. Now you can read deleted messages from WhatsApp, Instagram etc and you don't have to download any third party app but you must be enabled this feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on notifications, click on notification history and then enable this. Now it will save all the notifications that will come to the smartphone and you will be able to read them even after they will delete it. You can also quickly launch your camera application whenever you are using your smartphone and from anywhere. For example if you are using YouTube and quickly you want to open your camera, simply double tap your power button then it will launch your camera application as you can see. So you can use this one feature if you want to quickly open your camera application. If you want to change the clock on the locked screen of your smartphone and customize it further then simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on wallpapers. Click on lock screen and then click on clock, color and size. Here you can change the size from dynamic to small and you can also change the color of the clock. Select your favorite one. You can also change the opacity or transparency of the clock and then it will change the clock on your locked screen. You can also enable double tap to wake and double tap to turn off your screen. To enable this simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on home and lock screen. Click on lock screen, scroll down to the bottom, firstly click on put the display to sleep, enable this. Now come back and also click on jump to lock screen. Enable this and then select double tap to jump to the lock screen. Click on done. Now whenever you are on home screen you can simply double tap on the empty area then it will lock your smartphone and if you will double tap it again then it will wake your screen up. If you like to read ebooks, 
articles etc then you must use the next feature simply open your settings scroll down and then click on display again scroll down there you will see the option of screen timeout click on this there on the bottom you will see the option of attentive display if you enable this then it will prevent the screen from dimming or going to sleep while you are looking at it so you will be able to read your ebooks and articles very comfortably without tapping on the smartphone on and on if you don't want your google on the left side of your home screen so right now if you will swipe right to the home screen it will open that chrome then simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on home setting there you will see the option of swipe access and then click on nothing now if you will swipe to the right on the home screen it will not open that google chrome if you want to change the navigation of this smartphone from three button to gesture then simply open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there on the top you will see the option of navigation mode click on this and then select gesture navigation now you can go back like this open your recent applications like this and jump to your home screen like this right now you can simply shake your phone like this then it will turn on your flashlight and if you will shake it again then it will turn it off but if you want to disable this feature then open your settings go to gestures scroll down and there you will see the option of fast torch click on this and then disable this now it will not turn on your flashlight whenever you will shake it like this right now if you will long press the power button then it will launch the voice assistant application instead of opening your power menu if you want to set it to power menu then open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures again scroll down there you will see the option of press and hold power button click on this by default it is selected to digital assistant you have to select power menu now if you will long press the power button then it will launch the power menu but if you want to keep this as digital assistant now if you want to open your power menu then simply press the volume up button and power button at the same time then it will launch your power menu there is another method by which you can quickly open your camera application while using your smartphone you have to move your wrist like this two times then it will open your camera application so whenever you are using your phone normally and immediately you need to open your camera application simply move your wrist like this twice then it will launch your camera application if you use your phone at night a lot then you must use the next two features to protect your eyes simply open your settings and then click on display the first one is dark theme if you will enable this then it will turn all the whites into blacks and this will decrease the pressure on your eyes and the second feature's name is night light if you will enable this then it will turn the color of your smartphone little warmer this will also decrease the pressure on your eyes so you can use these two features if you use your phone at night a lot if you are not a fan of this app tray and you want all your application on your home screen then simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on home settings there you will see the option of home screen style click on this by default it is selected to app tray you have to select open click on switch it will take few seconds after that it will bring all your application on your home screen so it will disable your app tray and bring all your application on your home screen in case you don't know about this gesture you don't have to reach at the top to open the status bar or this control center you can simply swipe down on the empty area to open your control center and notification bar so these were some tips and tricks and features of Moto G35 5G smartphone if you like this video then let us know in the comment section hit that like button and we will see you in the next one till then have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone